115. Perfection versus Maturity. Calcedon Report, number 176, April 1980. The biblical word perfect, teleios, normally means fully grown, mature. Unfortunately, too often modern man, in reading scripture, misunderstands it to mean sinless, thus giving it a different meaning. In politics, too, the word has been misunderstood. When the preamble to the US Constitution speaks of a more perfect union, it refers to a more mature union, not a flawless, sinless estate. This false demand for perfection is a product of sin. In the Garden of Eden, a sinless place, there was no perfection in the sense of a mature and fully developed order. On the contrary, Adam and Eve faced daily the necessity for hard work in caring for the trees, vines and vegetables, in developing tools to enable them to do their work, in providing themselves with housing, and so on. Eden was a pilot project. What they learned there was to be applied later to the development of a vast world of wilderness. The world of Eden was sinless, but it was not perfect in the sense of being fully developed. The world was at its beginning, not its end. Their temptation and their sin was to reach out to gain a final result without the intervening work, planning, capitalization, and trial and error learning which was required of them as two novices at every task. The tempter's program was simplicity itself. God is preventing you from realising your true goals. You can yourselves be gods, knowing or determining good and evil for yourselves. Genesis chapter 3 verses 1 to 5 Man could become his own lord and creator. He could abolish all evil at will, and he could remake the world into a better place for mankind. Man's solution to his problems was thus not growth and maturation, not work and planning, but rather the attempt as his own God to reorder reality in terms of his own will. Since then, history has been the repeated attempts of man to legislate reality into conformity to his will. Problems are not to be dealt with in terms of Eden's, quote, primitive, end quote, way, but by fiat legislation. The state becomes the great agency whereby man, as God, seeks to hurl his fiats against the world, demanding that the world be transformed by the will of the state. As a result, fallen man seeks for the abolition of all evil by means of law. Are there problems sometimes with parents and in a number of families? Abolish the family. Are there problems in industry? and in the operation of the free market? Control industry and abolish the free markets. The logic leads to a final conclusion. Is life a continual problem? Abolish life. Suicide answers all questions. The world and all things therein, as God created it, was very good. Genesis chapter 1 verse 31. Disorder and chaos are products of sin. The very demand for perfection is a creation of chaos and confusion. Men, however, are now accustomed to regarding their desires for perfection as legitimate demands to make on God, man and society. What do I need, they ask, to enrich my life and give me what I believe is necessary for self-realisation? Is it more money, a new home? husband, wife, children, or another job, then God and life must supply it, or else we will punish God and man by being miserable, sulky and petty,